Here is a scenario that a lot of people come across, and this is how you solve it in PowerShell. Let's say you have a log entry in this format, and you want to extract just the error number. How would you do that? In PowerShell, you can use the regex switch parameter here with the switch statement to extract just the error number. So you can see here that I am doing a regex expression here. So this is the first statement that would basically look for this group. So this is known as a capturing group. So this regex happened here. The D here with the backslash, backslash is basically to escape the character D, and D here is to capture any digits. The plus symbol here just means that you want to capture all the digits up to this colon. So you can see here, notice the parentheses here. This is what will get stored within this magic automatic variable. So PowerShell creates this variable for you and any content within these parentheses is automatically transferred into that variable. And this variable is an array. So you are just accessing the first element here. And then once that's available, you're just storing it in this variable chord dollar sign error chord. And then we just basically are putting. Notice I'm using the switch statement here so if the pattern matches basically we get a match here then we then we wanted to do this otherwise default output which is error code zero and then we just simply print the result so if i run this again so you can see here that we got the output of 503 which is the error code here plus our custom message here so just remember to use a regex and then to extract a number you just use backslash backslash here is just to escape the character d plus is to capture the group of characters um so here we're just capturing these digits and then up to the colon here and this is the pattern so we basically looking for a pattern that says error plus a number plus a colon but we only want to capture the stuff in the parentheses in what is known as capturing groups here so this, this capturing group will store in this variable and then you can just store that in a variable and then there you go you can output so this is really easy to do in powershell and i would definitely encourage to experiment with the regex parameter along with the switch statement here